archangels. Let's take a moment. Let's greet the people around us. And we also greet the people who are joining us via live stream. Coming together as one, let us sing, number 690, one bread, one body, number 690. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. Great sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kiri elehison. Kiri elehison. Christ elehison. Christ elehison. Kiri elehison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Lord God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone of the Holy One, you alone of the Lord, you alone of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in the marvelous order ministries both angel, angelic, and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended 
by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him and myriads upon myriads attended to him. The court was convened and the books were opened as the visions during the night continued as I saw. One like the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, when he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language served him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight, all the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. <coughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. He said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord.
Today we celebrate the feast of the holy archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. These great archangels, whom we know from the sacred scripture, and who have a specific mission in the history of salvation. Today, there is much talk about angels, but one must be careful not to fall into the influence of the current of the new age, this current of thought that performs a religious syncretism. There are many angels of God but today we celebrate in a special way three who are archangels, who differ from angels by the mission they carry out directly from God. It is the angels who can continually praise God and take part in their own way, in God's rule over creation as powerful executor of his order according to the plan established by divine providence. To the angels, he is the entrusting at care with a special solicitude for men on behalf of whom they present their requests and prayers to God. The mission of the angels as ambassadors of God extend to each one of the men in an in a special way to those who have a specific mission in order uh, to salvation every day and at all hours all over the world and in the heart of the holy mass the angels and archangels are called upon to sing the glory of god today it is particularly appropriate to consider that the church honors in the liturgy three figures of named angels. The first, Saint Michael the Archangel. Its name summarizes the essential attitude of God's spirit. Michael means who is like God. The second, Saint Gabriel the Archangel figure link above all to the mystery of the incarnation of the Son of God. His name means, my power is God. Luckily, Saint Raphael the Archangel, his name means, God heals. Let us ask God under the intercession and protection of his holy archangels that entire life is always protected on earth by those who continually assist him in heaven. These holy archangels and the choir of angels are tangible example of love that our Father God has for his children. His constant protection can help us feel protected and strong, especially in times of tribulation or when we are at risk of losing serenity and peace. Holy Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael pray for us. Angels are ministering spirit sent to serve for the sake of those who are in to inherit salvation. Let us pray to the archangels who stand before God and who bring our prayers to the Almighty. Our response. Lord, send your angels to protect us. Lord, send your angels, angels to protect us. us. May St. Michael watch over God's people and protect them against Satan and the devils. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. May St. Gabriel, the angel of the Annunciation, 
Help us to listen to the word of God and to put it into practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. May Saint Raphael, the angel of healing, guard us in our journey, heal the sick, expel demons that torment God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. May we become aware of the invisible presence of angels and invoke their help in our struggle against evil, and may they guide us safely along the roads of our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. May angels lead the souls of the departed into paradise to adore God together with them and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. And we pray for the intentions of this, of this Mass, the intentions of Emmanuel Iacopo, and for the repose of the soul of Belen Teano and Igasini B. Salvacion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. And we pray for the intentions we receive, including um, prayers of thanksgiving for Sherry Loretto, Darren Naval, Steve Gridron, Philip Park, Nori Gatas, Jerry Car Caruan, Carol Callahan, Leah and Noah Garcia, and Judy Morgan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. And for the healing and health of Lumi Palacio, Barbara Yanchar, the Kimberly Pham Hewitt, Nancy Scott, Victoria Pineda, um, Houston Maka Lewis, Joan Donahue, Rodolfo Navidad, Ramon de Guzman, Lisa Angelis, Lorenzo Moran, and Judy Morgan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. And we pray for the repose of the souls of Dr. Victor Ejercito, Pacifico Naval, Ro uh, Romeo O.D., Wilma C., Alaya Domingo, John, De John Donahue, uh, Milton Tennant, Soledad Val Val Valdez, and Father Luis Serrano. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send your angels to protect us. And for the intentions each of us uniquely bring to Mass this morning that we now recall in our hearts. For all these needs and the needs we've already placed in our ark of prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heed your angels to protect us. O oh God, by the great dignity and splendor of angels, you show how infinitely great you are. May we heed the voice of angels and someday share the glory in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Thank you. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly in trading that as this gift are born by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you, watch out, and in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pray, the angelic creature, in whom you delight, redounds of your own surprising glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty as we are united with them in exultant adoration and with one voice of praise we acclaim. Santo, Santos Dominus Deus Abao, Benedicere Eterna, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui veni en Domine Domini, Hosanna in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread that throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who has pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gratefully grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gratefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui togles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui togles peccata mundi, miserere Agnus Dei, qui togles peccata mundi, dona nobis pax. Behold the name of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon. Lord God, your words are found, and I consume them. Your word became joy and the happiness of my heart. And then I'll do the one for today. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you to my soul. Since I cannot in a moment receive you sacramentally, come to the least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you are cooperated, and I myself wholly believe to you. Never permit it to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it now strand under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are those among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of death. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ, secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection and give witness snare of the devil. May God give you a humble prayer. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into all Satan, the other evil spirit, who proud about the Lord for all of us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing hymn is number 255, Holy, Holy, Holy. <laughs>